Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. Weather permitting, Game 1 of the World Series will take place tomorrow night on the banks of the Mississippi River. St. Louis decided as the NL Champ Cars host the AL Champion Texas Rangers. Rain put a damper on part of today's workout for the Rangers, but they finally managed to get on the field. I saw that it's going to be cold, and uh, I expected it to be even colder um, being out there today, but I was in short sleeves and I was fine. So, you know, if, if you can't be ready to play in cold weather or whatever variables are, are thrown our way at this point of year, then uh, I don't know if you're going to be ready at, at any point because it's the World Series. So, you know, you should be ready to play in 25 degree weather if, if that's the case. It was, it was kind of weird for me at first, you know, getting traded in the offseason, going to a rival in the division, you know, it's. I told a lot of guys that, you know, it was a sports hate I had for everyone over here. You know, and a lot of guys didn't like me either. So it was, uh, it was a little weird coming into to the, a new clubhouse and especially a division rival. But, uh, you know, it was, it was quick before, you know, that, that was all forgotten. Good thing, too. Temps in the upper 40s, a chance to rain and win for the opener. C.J. Wilson pitches for Texas. Chris Carpenter for the Cards. Let's talk hockey. Speaking of cold, the Amarillo Bulls coming off a pair of wins on home ice over the weekend. They maintain a one-point lead over Texas in the south division of the NAHL. A key player in the wins, forward Brooks Bailey. He had the game winner Friday and overall three goals and two assists. For that showing, he's been named the third star of the week by the league. His success comes from playing tough nose hockey. He's a big, big power forward. He drives wide. He has a great shot. He skates well. And that's what he did this weekend. You know, he was after pucks. He was, he was out there. He's, he's being a, 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 a physical presence. You know, and that's what we asked from him. It means a lot. I mean, coach has been pushing me all year as an older guy. I kind of had to step up or, uh, you know, I had to show the team I could do something. And it comes from hard work and a lot of uh, effort from my teammates helped me get this award. Brooks and the Bulls hit the road this weekend. They'll play at Wichita Falls and Odessa. All right, let's talk some volleyball. Lady Buffs in LSC play tonight, hosting the Cameron Aggies. Uh, late in the first, up 22-18. Great dig by Sarah Martin. Makes the save. Stormy Lancaster finishes it off. She's from uh, New Mobiti, I think, as opposed to Old Mobiti. Now WT serving. Weak return by the Aggies. There's Lancaster right there for the easy putback and the point. And finally, it is game point. Lady Buffs, uh, Cameron goes for the kill. Lancaster and Erica Dupree tag team the block. Final scores tonight. WT wins in a sweep. East New Mexico loses in four to Midwestern High School scores tonight. Emerald High, this doesn't happen very often. They lose mm -hmm. on the next page yeah. to Coronado. Uh, the game that everyone was uh, here in town, it was Palo Dura and Caprock. Next page, please. Wells, Randall Dumas first. That's the game everyone was wanting to see. Top five teams in the state, and it's Randall winning in four. Uh, Perryton and Dalhart. There you see that uh, it is uh, Dalhart sweeping. A couple of other scores. Highland Park over Bushland. And uh, there's Perryton Dalhart again by uh, the same scores. The score you didn't see was uh, Randall was uh, Caprock beating Palo Dura. These numbers run together after a while. 3-0. Another result to tell you about tonight, you like this. River Road won at Childress in the sweep. We don't have the numbers because when we contacted the coach car, she was driving the bus through Esteline. And if there's one place you'll want to be extra there careful you when you're driving, mm -hmm. it's through Esteline. <laughs> <laughs> Some other notes of style of stars won for the fifth time in six games to start the season. They beat Columbus 3-2. Finally, NBA players and owners have been meeting for more than 11 hours with a federal mediator hoping to do come up with some progress. The commission has needed to avoid canceling more games. So we'll see. Uh, and also... Canyon girls lost in four to friendship Ooh. tonight. You got Esteline and sports hate in the same yeah, sports show. Yeah, that was show. good. Very, yeah, very that interesting. That was pretty yeah. good. Unique. There's All some right. ticket <laughs> problems down there. There are some ticket <laughs> yeah. problems. That's for There's sure. There's some hate. <laughs> He's back after the break with another look at this old forecast. Stay with us. I didn't want to say it that way, though.